Here we go. 52 machines. Game changer. Keegan Mo was going to buzz. Break off money from South Carolina. Old guy on the road. Then right car character. Canadian car character. Old road for being cheap metal. I love Vicky King. Cheap 51 machine. That's cool. Camera. They want to refresh your team. Even if you have about the Spencer Homes and Nexel Bottom Road. They experience my daughter. Follow Simple Spring Home Solutions. I love the 51 machine. 30 shady John Stout. Put down for B-Friends. Low and Sliding Supply. Shepard Dogs. Keep some fun and try. 980. It's real on the call. Reporting's concrete finishing ride, 88 machine is Easy Mallon. Easy E, which was a great real estate, which was a great oil ride, 92 machine is the Rocking Man Wyatt Sprung from Mitchell Pool to OK Tower and Sound. 35 machine is Violin Camera, the AM Group of Company Chart, 11 machine is the Captain Morgan Motor Club in Double A. And one man dollar source, 22 machine is right foot Ronnie Mason for Mason Hollins with Money and Farms. 14 machine, the Conestoga Agro Systems ride. Of uh, Landon Strike and the 18 machine of five year old Jackson Baker, the OPC Auto Parts of Double Line, Science and Paul. That is the starting lineup, 20 laps on the Epic Race Race scoreboard. It's still in this one for the control panel system, Junior Lake Malls. And just a heads up, after this, we'll have a brief intermission as we get set for driver introductions for the Junior Family Classic. Side by side for the lead ball as we run. Mode on the inside, camera up on the outside. The 51 machine going to have the advantage as we head down to tomorrow. Turn number one. Mode trying to make the bottom side of the race track work. A little bit of contact with the 51. Both drivers able to keep it straight. That's been stacked up before we drop down for And the 0 1 of Brandon Call right behind the 52 and Mode. So drivers race off at four. Everyone chasing 51. A cool camera's winner the last time out. We have the Elmer Sliding Supply Big 3 Series here at Sunset Speedway. And he has got all sorts of speed in the London Recreational Racing 51 machine. He's the E.E. E. from now and now a good run in the fifth spot. Trying to run down the fast four. Not sure. Trying to take a look. There might be something coming out of the rear of the 52. I don't know because he goes through the corners. Getting a bit of feet smell fuel up here. So not sure if that's coming out of the back of the 52. But you can see something every time he goes through the corners. Especially off the two once that sunlight hits it. And there's some fluid possibly coming out out of the back of the 52 of Keegan Moe. Right now, he's falling back to the third spot behind Brandon McConnell. Sale of McConnell, not Brandon. Sale of Caleb McConnell, sorry. <laughs> so I'm told it was over for coming out of the 52. It's now he goes for the spin over in turn number two. I don't see him any legal way. One more time on that ticket. Zero, four, 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 eight, two. Some big wave? We can pull this wave. Two of if somebody could do a quick interpretive dance number if they have the winning ticket, I will see it. Don't worry. Do water. Do water. Green flags up, and we are back racing with our junior late model feature. Side by side. Sidelines down to the lead. Off the key down to the eye straight away. This time it's changing draft shouting for it. He's got the nose up in front. The camera's all tied in the bottom side. It's William Ford. Great Ford Bowl racing. Off of four. We have three by deeper in the pack. He can look for him to work coming back to the field. Camera leaning on the burning machine. Just a little bit that time. Getting down into turn number one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> turn down behind us. We've got to be needed this way. Still side by side the lead though. Davenport got the nose back on front by the time they got the start finish line. That time by camera doing a great job down the bottom, but here comes Caleb McConnell in the 0 1 machine. Closing in, trying to make it a three way dance at the front of the field. In the parking lot. <laughs> Again, Davenport on the high side. Just to get the nose back out in front as we get into the start finish line. Able to lead him back to the stripe. 
Look how excited they are! Yeah, that's how we do it! Alright, Atomic Bomb, will you announce this? The camera now just moves over in front of the great ones which we for that time on the recreation race to Nicholas Electric Life. He leads the battle straight to Alvinport trying to battle back, but he's got Brand back Caleb McConnell to his inside in the 0-1 machine. Awesome. Okay. That's really cool. Yeah, okay. so are you gonna remember that? Yeah, see what's here. Caleb McConnell now able to out in front. He'll go to the second spot, but now he's gonna run down. Cool camera in that 51 car. No problem. Thank you. Hey, here with me, turn four. Here with me. Got the tucks on and everything. It's good to go. Battle, deep in the field for the dead spot. The Rocket Man, Wyatt Sprung, 888, Ethan Mallon getting together. Those two drivers make contact on the turn number four. Sprung from the top spot. Caleb McConnell has run down the 50 mile cool camera to the front of the field. Got into a bumper that time for three and four. We'll have to keep our eyes Maybe this is the same tail as it was in the heat race with the 0-1 car. Gets a monster run off at turn number two, which he is doing. And that is where he's able to close the gap. But he's got J.D. Josh Davenport to his inside. Battle is on for second, right in the middle of the mirror. Of the 51 machine is full camera. Actually, leader Davenport going to slide back, fall in line behind the 0-1 machine. As we head towards turn number one, as they come up on the fire road, the 18 machine the 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 that Jack the Vicar is going to move to the long side of the racetrack. You know, the some room if they come past. McCall and Emma, very, very high side for three and four, trying to get that big run. Down the front straight, we like you guys off of tour number two. As we have contact and run around, and more than more with some basic driving. I believe that might have been the 92 and the 88 getting together once again. All right, so it looks like the lineup is complete. Six laps remain on the FFH for the scoreboard to close this one out. Thank you for those caution lights extinguished around the racetrack. Three starts on camera, picking up the pace early. And I don't know if that one's going to stand. We'll see what the officials say. That's getting called back. McConnell, though, shot the one to the outside. He had to turn one and two. See if he gets to have a seat down the back straightaway with the 0 1 car to the outside of Nicholson Electric, number 51. JD Josh down toward the bottom. We're going to make it three wise for the lead. Davenport trying to make it work down the bottom. Doesn't get enough to run off of turn number four, but at the line, Caleb McConnell is going to lead him back to the stripe. Five laps and settle this one side by side for the lead off at two. McConnell with a big run on the high side, using the momentum up about half a lane higher through one and two. The camera, camera, better through three and four. McConnell with a bit of a bobble. See what they got at the line this time. Camera buying those at the line. They swap the lead back and forth. McConnell gets ahead there by the time he had a turn number one. He'll get the run off at two and down the back straightaway. He's got to try to build some distance over the number 51 machine. And it's great work comes down for now to the bottom. Three wide for the lead. Contact. Camera. The meat in the sandwich. McConnell trying to get the nose down in front. Down for it. Scott, the run down the bottom. He'll slide up. Camera looking for the cross over there. Down the bottom side of the race track. Oh, it's going out the corner up on the high side. Camera. Right away for the uptake function is out there. It's right on camera in the infield ball. No it's first up against it. And that'll be a red flag around the race track. Need to be to come to a stop. And that's on the nut spotters. All right, white flag is out. We finally got the big cruise move from over in turn number two, which is great. Safety first. Mostly for insurance purposes. We like our insurance company. 
And they like us because we make people move when we need to. All right, so here we go. Three laps to settle this one on the Epic Race Race scoreboard. To crown a winner, round number two, the Elmwood Sliding Supply Big Three Series. Cameron starting to pick up the pace from Carl Max to the end of the training field. Three start zone off of turn number four. Green flag in the air. The call with the, through the bumps in turn number one. Gets the nose down in front. Slides in front of Cameron. Cameron's got nowhere to go. He's got Davenport to his inside. Camera up a little bit higher side as we get into turns three and four. McCall with a bit of a ball the last time. That's going to go for Davenport down the bottom. Possible six in the air from Ben Dennis as they come across the short finish line. Davenport working the bottom side of the racetrack. Here comes Camera up from the high red district down to the bottom shelf. Going to make it three wide. Here the McCall will able to split the 30 at Davenport. Here comes Keegan Moe. Moe looking to the inside of Davenport for the third spot. White flag in the air side by side for the lead as we come back to the straight. By a known that time, McCall had the lead. Camera trying to fire back. Here we go, McCall with it on the high side, down the back straightaway. Down in the bottom. Going to make it, try to make it three wide. McCall clear out in front. Here comes Camera, but he gets crossed up. That goes that, he gets like taking load on the great slow goes for the spin. McCall crosses the line, picks up the win. Down in for a second. Moe going to come on third, sprung forward. And now I'm going to round out the top five. And Top five run, Keegan Moat, the game changer, gone alive. He was hungry the last time he was here, and that hunger has paid off. Caleb McConnell in the Horton's Concrete Feet in Lockwood Family Restaurant, King Holdings, Junior Ray Mall. He's out of the car, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together. First of many, I'm sure, Caleb. First of many. Here, anyway. Got her? Good job, dude. Good job. That's for you. Hey, you are both these Johnnies right here. Congrats, guys. Congrats. Hey, Brandon, what's going on? Caleb, I know you're a popular guy. You got time for a quick interview? Yep. What did you think? That was a wild finish. You guys were crossing each other up inside, outside, every which way. Did you think you were going to win this one tonight? Well, I have to uh, thank uh, two boys for not getting into me and racing very clean. But other than that, uh, and I have to thank my dad, my pop, and my nana, and my mom for helping me work on the car every week. Grandpa and grandma, too. I have to thank all my sponsors, CM Positions, Shake Energy Systems, Rockford, Rockford Family Restaurants, Concrete Car, Horton's Concrete Finishing, RFK Holding, Fabulous Communications, Baker Tilly, Crown West Control, and Fremberton, Fremberton, and Gazeek. Well, I'm sure you made him proud tonight, Caleb. Put on a heck of a show. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, Caleb McConnell.